Ukraine against United States of America round number four of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster from Israel and today we will watch together one of the world chess legends, the Grandmaster from Ukraine, Vasily Ivanchuk, who is 55 years old and was ranked number 2 in the world in his peak. Can you believe it? You know, in round number 4 of the Chess Olympiad 2024, the Ukrainian team faced the unbelievable American team with just the best players in the world and now we will see the game in board number two between Ivanchuk and Grandmaster Wesley So. Are you ready? Come on, let's get started. So, you know, Ivanchuk played with white pieces, let's see how it goes. You know, He's playing every single move, but in this game he chose to play the move d4. Knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, and now bishop b4. The Nimzo Indian defense. Queen c2 was played by Vasily, castle and a3. You know, until this position, of course, they are playing very fast. Let's see when they both starting uh, to think. Queen takes c3, d5, knight f3 d takes c4 and queen takes c4 this everything is theory and you know i'm sure 100 percent that of course wesley so uh, knows here every single uh, variation bishop g5 was played very fast by vasily bishop a6 queen a4 and now queen d7 queen d7 was the first move that wesley so thought about in this game queen c2 was played Overall, after queen takes d7, I think overall just knight bd7 with c5, rook ac8, rook fd8, h6, and it looks like black is doing perfect, right? Also, this diagonal is very strong. If white will play the move e3, just bishop takes f1, and after king takes, you know, there is nothing for white, just knight e4, bishop f4, c5, that's it. Uh, black is maybe a little bit better in this position because the two bishops are gone for white. So queen c2 was played after queen d7, c5, very strong move by Wesley So, you know, he's claiming that I must play faster that I can, uh, you know, just to bring my initiative into the game. I must play active to bring the rook to c8, knight c6 and to play very very fast because the king on e1 is didn't, didn't castle yet, right? Uh, so white should have think about some moves before castling here. So d takes c5 and now rook c8, you know, as you can see Wesley is playing fast, um, you know, as the wind. Rook d1 attacking the queen on d7 and now just queen e7 going for it and now queen a4 was played. I thought maybe e4 was the best here because you really need to think somehow to develop your bishop and maybe, you know, like uh, to solve the castle issues. For example, after bishop takes f1, maybe just king takes, rook takes c5, I don't know, queen e2 with g3, king g2, rook h e1. It looks fine, I think, overall for both sides, but I don't know, e4 looks for me very, um, you know, general, generally speaking, you need to think about your king, right? Because if you're playing the move queen a4 in the 14th move in the game, yeah, the king here is, is not castled yet and this bishop is not developed and also this rook. So I'm not sure about this, but let's see. B takes c5 was played by Wesley and h4. You know, Vasily Vanchuk is one of the players that is really stylish, right? He's just m playing moves very beautiful, very special that you will never think about it. Great move, h4. I think the point here is just to push h5, h6, and maybe rook h3, rook g3. Maybe this is the way uh, that we are doing castle in 2024. So he's playing the move c4. Wesley saw is playing a very interesting move. You know, just now he's discovering this queen for from being, uh, I don't know, maybe queen f4. So yeah, c4, interesting move. Rook h3. Wow, what a move by Vasily Vanchuk. You know, it's just crazy. I saw this guy, I don't know, several times in my life, maybe 10 times in my life. And he's just, 
you know, you're feeling that you, you, you see in your eyes something special. Rook h3, wow. This king will not castle in this game, ladies and gentlemen. h6 was played, asking the bishop on g5, where do you want to go, man? Queen c2. I will tell you where where I'm going to, to put my bishop. Nowhere. I will put it on g5. You're really welcome to take on g5, ladies and gentlemen. After a takes g5, just a takes g5 with so much things here on h7 with checkmate. Of course, for example, knight fd7, just queen h7 and queen h8 checkmate on the board. So queen c2, another very special move by Vasily Ivanchuk with 27 minutes on the clock in only 17 moves wow knight b d7 yeah looks really good for black developing another knight maybe knight c5 knight b3 also protecting this knight on f6 also rook a b8 maybe to to bring another piece into the attack yeah knight d4 and you know this position is maybe not so good for white right because white is very playing very special moves but Overall, don't forget, the king is under attack, is in the center, this bishop is not playing, and all of the black pieces are doing just fantastic work, right? So, now we play the move bishop b7, overall, maybe knight e5 was a little bit better, or also knight c5 should be interesting move, but, I don't know, bishop b7 also makes sense, because this bishop on a6 is not doing so much work now. So, bishop b7, now bishop e4 maybe in some ideas, now is not good because queen takes, but just putting the bishop in a very good diagonal let's see bishop d2 was played going back uh, maybe understand that this bishop doesn't uh, do any work on g5 and now a5 was played by wesley probably you know maybe afraid of bishop b4 and um, just you know maneuvering from g5 to d2 to b4 uh, to attack the queen on e7 a5 was just a prophylactic move of course f Three. I like this move, you know, because it's very good uh, at least by touching this e4 square, touching this g4 square, maybe, you know, starting to think about e4 and, you know, phew, yes, I will have the bishop into the game. So yeah, f3 was a very interesting move. Queen c5 was played, attacking this knight on d4, now bishop e3. I don't know why he didn't play the move bishop c3. I really don't know, uh, but overall bishop e3 also makes sense. I think overall after bishop c3, knight d5, this something that maybe, you know, uh, comes to Ivanchuk mind here, because knight e3 and also this bishop is under attack a little bit, and he, he likes to, to have two bishops. So we play the move bishop e3, with the point that after knight d5, probably he wants to play the move bishop to f2 with e4, knight f5, something like this, and also here, as you can see, the king is this, you know, uh, protecting the, the bishop on f2. So, bishop e3 was played, and now Wesley is going for c3, you know, pushing the pawn and claiming, you know what, I'm, I'm re ready to attack, I want to, to see some blood here with these pawns, and what can you tell me, if Vasily, and he's taking the queen, b takes rook takes e3 and now double attack here on bishop e on a3 and the pawn on a3 so we play the move bishop c1 very strong move of course uh, just solving his issues bishop a6 now e4 bishop takes f1 king takes f1 this position should be better for black of course bishop b2 rook c5 g4 knight b6 rook h2 knight c4 king e1 this position, you know, Vasily Ivanchuk here, I'm, I'm sure 100% he didn't thought about way to win this game, but let's see how it ends. So knight takes b2 was played, I'm not sure about this, maybe to play knight d7. Knight d7 to bring this knight to b6, to a4, maybe e5, right? It's maybe better option for black, but knight takes e6 you, you must consider, but now knight d e5. Very strong and beautiful tactic. It knight x e5, knight f3, and after king f2, for example, knight h2 with double attack. Also the bishop, also the pawn on g4. So yeah, it's it's really interesting. Knight e7 was maybe a better move, but he played knight x b2, rook takes b2, and now rook c3. Also, you know, attacking this pawn on a3. A4 was played, rook a3, 
uh, rook b6, rook d8, uh, I'm not sure about it, I thought maybe to play rook c3, rook c c3 of course, with you know the threats of rook e3, knight e7, knight e5, the pawn on f3, and also you know like to, to bring another piece to an active position. But rook d8 also makes sense, overall rook b5, g6, also in this position I thought why not to play, to take the pawn on a4, because knight c6, now maybe rook c8, oh no, rook c8, yeah, sorry, yeah, also I'm blundering a little bit, but now rook a8 maybe, just uh, defend the pawn on a5, looks, looks great, rook a2, a4, I don't know, maybe white has some initiative, but it's not so easy to, to understand, uh, so we play the move g6, it's, it feels like they both of them had like four minutes in this position. So g6 was played, Wesley saw, uh, very fast. Knight b3, rook c8, uh, king e2, rook c4 attacking this pawn on a4. Now rook d8 check, king g7, g5, knight takes e4. Brilliant move somehow uh, from Wesley saw in this position in only th 38 move in the game. And it's really beautiful to see they are bo both playing in time trouble, uh, less than a minute. G takes h6, king takes h6, f takes e4, rook takes e4, and now after king f2, rook takes a4. It seems that black has three pawns for this knight. Let's look what Vasily is doing here. Just magic. Knight d4 is bringing the knight into a very important square in the center. Also, of course, just um, you know enabling... To, to take the pawn on h4, rook a2 check, king g3, rook 4 a3 check, and now knight f3. And now it looks like this king on h6 has some troubles here. Rook e2 was played, this was a mistake. The best move here was king g7. The point is that after rook d7, king f6, rook b b7, and now e5. And you know, the point is that you are bringing the pawn back, King e6, and now e4 is going forward, right? And it's not so easy to, to handle with white pieces. For example, king g4, not so good because of rook g2 check. King h3, rook e2, and also e4, this is the threat. So it's not so easy to, to you know, to, to get out from this three row. So, yeah, it, it was not so easy for Wesley so to find this king g7. So we played the move rook e2 with, with the threat of playing uh, rook e3. E and, of course, this pin is very annoying for, for black, for white, of course. But rook b7, very strong move. Attacking the pawn on f7. And also, from f7, you're protecting the knight on f3. So it's just winning, absolutely. Rook e5 was played. After king g7, just rook d7 d and take the pawn. And, yeah, the game is over very fast. He played the move rook e5. Rook takes f7 and now g5 the point here was after h takes g5 rook takes g5 in this position yeah maybe should be a draw right i don't know rook a4 check king e3 rook a3 check some checks here and yeah it's not so easy to understand because of course rook against rook and a knight it's a draw don't forget it so after g5 it was a very good question by wesley so to vasily vanchuk but vasily you know just the best the best, maybe the best player in Ukraine of all time is a legend. He played the move h5. Very slowly, calm move. With the point of rook h8. It's a checkmate on the board, ladies and gentlemen. He played the move king takes h5. And now another quiet move. Rook f6. And Wesley so resigned the game because rook h8. Is the next move we checkmate on the board so rook takes f3 the last move of course but just rook takes and yeah rook up and of course Wesley so uh, resigned the game after rook f6 and Vasily Vanchuk brings home to Ukraine a very big win against top 10 player in the world Ukraine won against United States two and a half against one and a half. Fabiano Caruana won in the first board and the fourth board was won by Andrew Korbov against Ray Robson. Unbelievable achievement, unbelievable result and maybe Ukraina will take the lead? Maybe Ukraina will have a medal in this tournament? Olympian? Maybe. We will see it in the next video. See you soon. If you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content. Bye-bye.